Good afternoon, Diecast family. Uh, so coming back at you with um, a request from a good friend to my channel, and I know in particular to Johnny Roman at Toy Car Case. And this video was suggested and dedicated to Super Fan B or Super Fan B, but I think it's Super Fan B who's kind enough to always leave comments on mine and Johnny's channels um, knowledgeable person uh, and kind enough to to be involved with us um, if uh, they call by and leave you a comment then please reply to them uh, again super fan B this one's for you as requested and what super fan B asked for was a movie case uh movie and tv um now as you know these planos hold 24 pieces 24 parking spaces and i'm only gonna do 20 pieces in this case and i'll tell you for why when we get there but there will be 24 pieces good god i could have probably filled a plano case three times over because if you think that on display carded I have a full set of Fast and Furious. I have a full set of Batman vs Superman, and that includes Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot, what a dish. Incidentally, she has made Wonder Woman 2, but obviously I think the release date has been put back again. But don't quote me. I've got Guardians of the Galaxy full sets 1 and 2. Love the Marvel movies. Looking at my shoulder, I've got Beatles Yellow Submarine Anniversary set. That's a movie. I've got two sets of Spider-Man, which are oh, about 16 pieces. Oh, full set of James Bond. Uh, oh, you know, the, the, it's endless. But I keep them carded because I call them my car culture sets. And um, I've got the full set. So... You know how they make the borders up on my wall. You, you saw that on my wall of cars. So I'm not sure of movie cars. But in terms of actual singular ones that I've bought. Uh, then I haven't. Well I have got enough to fill a play now. But some of them are carded. And I'm not going to uncard them. And you'll see why at the end. So Super Van, uh, super Fan B. This one's for you as requested. Hope you enjoy it. And so this movie and TV case. Is going to be kicked off by a shape that I'm sure most of us know by now. Talking despicable me. Gru's car. This big old smoke belcher on the back and it also flies. Uh, mostly. There's a little bit of metal there on the base. A little bit of metal. But the rest is plastic and... I kind of understand why you'd have a problem moulding this in metal surely to God. It's a bit complicated so there's the jetpack on the back and i can count what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven rocket motors there of all variations and totally unequal uh observation down there at the back and the main cabin where grew and his minions sit there's the entrance door on the front and uh yeah it's, I, lo I love despicable me oh in fact yeah i've got a despicable me set as well that's about eight pieces and full my missus likes despicable me who don't like the minions you know they're a bit of fun so we'll pop him in there singularly bought we all know this one as well the yellow submarine 30th, anni uh, 30th anniversary edition. Not much to tell you about this. It's a submarine and it's yellow. Uh, got a couple of jet propellers on the back. Jet propellers. What am I about? Just propellers, aren't they? Not jets, they're propellers. And a bit of detail on it. It's a good simplistic piece a la the cartoon. Submarine version of that. So there's two. Got a pair of these now. We got Snoopy. Oh, I've got a full set of peanuts as well. So 
God, the more I keep prompting myself, yeah, I could have filled maybe four Plano cases full. But we got the good old Snoopy there, nice metal casting. I think the only thing that's plastic on this is Snoopy and the wheels, but it's a fun piece. And uh, who doesn't know Snoopy? And Peanuts and Charlie Brown. and But yeah, this is a 2015 edition. And if you keep these wheels in your head for a moment, we'll put him on the bottom because he's quite a tall piece. If squat, and there's piece number two, and you can see straight away that the only thing that's really different is the wheels, and that's because this is a 2017 edition, so these two Snoopies. Are two years apart and that's all that I can tell that's different from them is that their wheels are different but yeah it's a variation now we're going to hit you with a run of what I'm looking at here two four six seven we know who this is don't we ah there you go Mikey Dyson's ultra loud close-up Classic Batmobile from the TV series, but this one is the blue variation. You can see the blue flames on there, and I like this. I thought it was a clever variation of a classic theme. We all know this dear old friend. I used to have a Corgi one with a saw blade that had come out the front, uh, rockets that come out the back. But yeah, we all know this one, but as you can see, this is the blue variation, pretty cool, be even cool if it go in there as you can see the long old pieces but they do go. Classic Batmobile 2 variation 2, there we go, a nice almost aluminium esque finish to that, some suggestion of flames there, ghost flames I think you call them, nice red uh, Glass work, flashing lights, exactly the same as that big jet motor used to blast out the back cave with. Nice, subtle red Batman logos and red stripe in there. So that's the classic Batmobile done the second way. The third way is the absolute classic Batmobile. There we go. Again, it's got that blue glass on, but there's no blue flames. This is the typical red stripe version with them stripes that go down to that cutting blade, if it were there. Good wheels, I think. Uh, I think Mattel got it right with these, you know. Are they super, super detailed? No, are they detailed? Yeah, I think, I think so. I think they're a good on this piece. So that's three of the classic series. And then we've got this variation. Now, whether this is from uh, the DC Universe, I think this is the comic one. I mean, good God. <laughs> are you supposed to uh, are you supposed to see like that? It's like piss holes in the snow, that. They'll say, well, they'll have cameras and scanners and all that business. Okay, okay, we'll go with that. But it's a mean looking casting. Mostly plastic, good wheels, nice metallic detail at the back. I like all things Batman, come on. As far as superheroes go, he's just like you and I, apart from his millions. He's an average man with a few skills, but some absolute killer toys. So, look at this monstrous piece. I have actually got the entire Batman Automobilia collection and I think the scale, I mean, I've got them boxed up. They all come in display cases. They've all got lenticular backgrounds and, oh, crikey, they're big. But I have got all 90-odd pieces and all the specials and it took me about three years to collect them all. We're for Bobber 2 now and I'm so glad I collected them. Uh, maybe I'll dig them out of the boxes and take you through them. 
maybe 10 pieces a week for the next 20 years and whatever it is. I've got everything they ever did. So there's that one. So here's another variation of the Batmobile. This isn't the tumbler I grant you, but it's a mean old armoured piece like the tumbler. I've seen one with a gun coming out there as well. I've passed that one up a couple of times. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. But as you can see, this is a mean bat-like piece. There's that cockpit. It's almost like a fighter pilot. And a big old jet features there at the back again. But yeah, that's just another variation in another Batman universe. In fact, I think I've got two full Batman collections as well in, in Hot Wheels, carded. And then we'll take you back to that grey piece and there's the metallic version of that. There we go. Exactly the same casting wheels, very different. Nice, nice chrome weight, you know, it's just a... It's just a display piece, isn't it? You, you could actually get four or five of these. I know there's a nice white version and that. And you could actually mount them on a piece of... Uh, nice piece of wood that's been stained or varnished. And have a, have a little plaque put on, you know. Uh, Batmobiles through the generations or... I don't know. Maybe it's somebody, an idea for somebody. I'd have it on my desk. If I had a desk. Anyway, I digress. Old timers. And people are getting old timers. We all know this one. The Jetsons family car from the Jetsons. The bubble. George always driving and the kids and the mother always mithering and yeah. Nice. Nice wheels there. Match the dome. Very simplistic piece, but evocative of a certain time period in history. Who didn't love the Jetsons? I mean, there'll be some people that don't, but in the main, it's it's formed the part of our lives, even here in England. You know, we didn't have it like America did, but then it came over here and people loved it. So, and rightly so. Good fun. I'll just tilt up a bit. Get these next two, two rows in and I'm doing this early because I'm not filling the top row up and I say we'll come to that but yeah so I hope this is fulfilling your mandate super fan B uh, I hope you're enjoying this and we'll plod on to the classic 101 Dalmatians and here's Cruella de Vil's Roadster based on a real car um, a Bugatti I believe I'm sure I'll be corrected by somebody for being naughty if that's not right. But yeah, there's some good casting details on here. I do actually like this. And I've got one of these in black and blue as well. Uh, you know, good detailing on the back there with a spare. Nice casting lines. I say all that grill work is in the castings. Just focus a little bit for me, that's better. Nice piece actually. Even if it weren't Cruella de Vil's car, I'd still collect one of them at them. That's why I've got uh, a couple of them. They're nice. So, we're going to the game that was turned into a rather... Well, I think there's a, a real live human action movie. And I think they've also done one of these uh, CGI movies. After the computer game. And that is The Warthog from Halo. Super gun on the back there. Definitely an all-terrain vehicle for before, I would guess, with a configuration. Nice roll cage in there. Super piece. I mean, you could you could take one of these, green it up and put it in a modern-day army. It's not anything that's so far out there, is it? Nice metallic casting. A lot of plastic work on it, though, but I do like the shape. I do like the fact that it's mean-looking. And I do like the fact that it's from Halo. Same thing again. Different colour variation. Had to have it. Again. The casting looks... Well, it feels weightier somehow. I don't know why that would be. 
other than there's obviously more metal in there. Get into focus, you bugger. Thank you. But yeah, exactly, more or less exactly the same detailing. A little bit of tempo work on there. But yeah, that's another variation of Warthog. It looks cool. Yeah. I think that would be the easiest thing in the world for somebody like super bad videos to turn into a wasteland vehicle. Stick some canisters and parts on there. I think you're nine tenths there already. What you say, super bad? Is that an idea? I don't know. And then the one piece I did get that there was individual uh, is from the Fast and the Furious, and I like it. A load of old nonsense. And that's the ice charger, Dodge charger, the ice charger with them jet motors in the back there. And uh, I think we all know this piece from the various sets. It's been a popular, popular thing. Uh, didn't notice there, just till I've turned that down. It's funny when you start looking at these things. Nothing down this side, and then you look at this side. Load of tampo work. I think they're machine gun holes, don't you? Bullet holes. I think that's what that's meant to simulate. So... There you go, we've gone from Snoopy, Yellow Submarine, Despicable Me, lots of Batmans, the Jetsons, 101 Dalmatians, Halo, two pieces, and then we're on the Fast and the Furious. So let's go to Mr. Bond. Aston Martin DB5. Classic, nice lace wheels on it. Good simple casting, good on this mainline piece with... Some detailing there on the headlights. You get that Aston Martin badge just in front of the bonnet. Nice casting lines, good clean piece. And then we get some good detail on the back there. So, I can't fault that really. For a mainline piece, it's pretty, it's detailed. James Bond, isn't it? Need I say more? Uh, ooh. Now this is the crazy guy that's putting up a wall of satellites around the earth, isn't it? E Elan, Elan somebody. I'm not really bothered. Uh, but in a publicity stunt, he fired this model of Tesla into orbit. Like we ain't got enough space junk up there already. Here's a bigger piece of junk. Electric cars. Really? I mean, one day. But let's get the technology nailed first, eh? Dad, are we nearly there yet? Yeah, we've got another 30 miles to go only, but I've got to charge it up for three hours to get there. Nah. Petrol heads, every one of us, I would say. This is part of the future. But it won't be part of my future. And I'm not upset about that either. But yeah... Tesla Coupe, bit of a gimmick, there we go, so we cross from there to the famous DeLorean from Back to the Future, this is the only piece I own from that and as you can see this is the one that's in hover mode, which is cool, I mean it's got wheels underneath that you can scuttle it along, but yeah classic DeLorean, Again, we all know this shape, don't we? There's the DeLorean badge on the back. Wasn't he a crazy Irish fella that sunk all his money into this? I think he'd had a good career as a car designer and he went on his own. I'm sure he lived in Ireland. Um, all aluminium bodies. Very pricey. And it unfortunately failed for him. But I do like the DeLorean. And I said a guy that, is it John DeLorean, isn't it? I think that's his name, yeah, John DeLorean. It's come to me now. Um, yeah, he's, he's actually attributed, if you Google his name, with designing a lot of quite famous cars before he became famous for this piece. And so, our final piece, uh, oh, I don't know what the, which anniversary this one is, but this one is 2013. And it's the 14 Corvette Stingray. And that's the Barbie car from Barbie the movie. Uh, trust me, there is one out there. 
I haven't seen it and I can promise you that. But, you know, I know a few ladies that have this piece and one of them is my missus. And I think um, Johnny Roman's daughter, Miss Trixie. Um, I'm sure she's got a Barbie car or two, I know. And she's an absolute pink fanatic. She's a proper, proper girly girl, a young lady, beautiful. Trixie, I hope you're watching this. All the best to you. Um, and uh, all the best to the Roman family, in fact. So, we'll just tilt down a little bit. We can see there, look, I haven't filled the top row in. What a letdown, what a letdown. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Because, I say, I could have filled four, four maybe five Plano cases up with movie series cars. But I wanted to do something a bit special. And so, these will always remain carded for the nature of what they are. Who got me on? And I'm in particular thinking mega thanks to David Johns, worst YouTube channel ever. Brookstone Customs, check him out. You know him now, he's a pivotal part of the community. And he sent me a beautiful premium green light Hollywood, the Blues Brothers. And there we go, look at that beauty. Chicago Police Dodge Monaco. And uh, it's got all the refinements on. You'd expect a green light. There we go. Look at that back end. Stunning. Metal on metal. Even got metal sirens and blue lens lights. It's it's a green light. Need to say more. I do think this is probably my favourite brand. I've aired towards collecting green light and they seem to be readily available in Europe mainly because the owner of green light is also the on owner of Tom's model shop which you always hear diecast dudes singing the praises so even if the name hasn't stuck his shop certainly has and his pieces from green light absolutely resonate with me so there's the blues brothers classic movie just put him to the side and then the same Mr. David Johns sent me Jake and Elwood's Blues Brothers uh, car, the Blues Mobile. Obviously, it was an ex police car which they uh, purchased or not. Queer ball bars on the front there, very unusual. Uh, faded out details, which is. Correct of the movie piece, good details on the back, lights removed and everything. Uh, we know this one. Yeah, fantastic detailing, accurate wheels, everything. So that's my second movie piece, and that's piece 22. And then Mr. David Johns also sent me this. It don't come more classic than this, does it? No, it's not Jaws. <laughs> Steve McQueen, Bullet. What an iconic movie. What an iconic, rugged actor. As popular as popular as anybody with ladies. And some gentlemen, I dare say. But anyway, that's another story. And here we've got the classic 1968 Dodge Charger. What a beauty. What a fateful recreation of that movie. Bit of mist in there on the, I think that's on the inside to be honest. So there's a bit of moisture ingress in there. But look at them wheels. If I was re-wheeling, that's like some of the ones I get. Uh, beautiful, beautiful car, beautiful detailing. Gloss black, matte black vinyl odd. Even got the logo there, look, in tiny, tiny. Try and get it in there for Mr. Dyson before I get a telling off. There we go. That's as close as I dare go before it goes out of focus. These are all 164 lot. So they fit in with most people's collections. Great hard work. Uh, hard work. Artwork. And great information about the movies. But I would guess most of us have seen them. 
So now that takes us nicely to the final piece which I purchased myself at uh, not some insignificant amount. It was quite expensive. But when you see that logo, you know you're paying for quality, don't you? I had to have it. Boom. There you go. Echo one. And look at all them parts. Is that not a busy casting? Metal on metal, plastic canister parts, all the ghost busting equipment on the top there. Got to be the original movies for me. The modern remake of a couple of years ago. Oof, no, not for me. Not for me. Mr. Dyson close up. We all know this. It's an absolute ingrained in culture classic, isn't it? Even if you don't like the movies, the car's fantastic. It really is. Typical Johnny Lightning details. There's a no ghost allowed sign on the back. Or ghost bad. Door features. Lovely, lovely. Red lines on the side. Old light bar. I think this was a former ambulance they bought, didn't they? It carried all the equipment. And there's some of that equipment on the top there. So, yeah. Beautiful piece. I am so glad I paid for this. Uh, and put it in my collection. I don't think anybody should be without one of these. Any other versions? I know there's a few, but I love this Johnny Lightning variation. From the silver screen machines. And that concludes my fulfilment of a promise to Super Van V. Super Van V, not V. That I would indeed do a movie and TV case. I hope you enjoyed this Super Fan. Thank you for contributing to my website in, you know, comments and feedback. And I hope this has tickled you a bit. And I hope you're happy. So, for now, everybody, please take care. I have got a case of exotics coming up. Um, and that's a request. And we'll talk about that one when the time's right. So, for now, this is Sol saying thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the notification bell. All I'm good is that give me the art to carry on. And uh, I love speaking to you. Um, got a really good uh, following from Indonesia. And uh, I hit the translator and I converse with them. And it's actually good. They're very lovely spiritual people. Honourable, I would say. Um, and uh, it's good. It's good to talk. And just take that little bit of time. And see where it leads you. But there we go. And there's my stack of four. So that was uh, a Plano case Zwerth of 24. I hope you enjoyed it. Be safe everybody. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.